Hello, in this video I'm going to show you guys my five favorite long jumps and how to do them and uh, how to flick. Alright, here is the first one going from the tip of this branch to that branch right there. So this is the easiest one out of all of them. Um, all you got to do is you get to this branch and you're hitting off. You want to fling your arm all the way behind you. You don't just want to hit, you want to fling it all the way behind you. And with the other arm, reach out and grab. This is what it looks like. You don't have to move your feet. And I'll show you one more time without my arms flailing so much. So you go up to the edge, fling, stick your other arm out, catch, and go. If you're having trouble reaching it, you're getting to like right here. So just sticking your arm out, swing your arms. So this is what I mean by swing your arms. So if you're having trouble reaching the other side and you're really close, instead of just reaching your arm out, try to fling your arm like this. So you're going out and then you fling your arm. So I'm doing that as I am making like my arm into this shape. My body's over here. So like this, and then I'm just flicking with my elbow out. All right, on to the next one. It is the exact opposite of what we just did. Now it's from here to there. So let's see if I can get this first try. It's the same thing, but just a little bit um, longer. So you really need to get right up to the edge to make it easy on yourself. And if you're having trouble getting there, you can try leaning in real life. So get like a nice wide stance and then you can lean back when you hit off and then lean forward when, you, uh, when you're landing. So right here, lean back, lean. <laughs> You want to lean back and then lean forward. Nice and easy. And then a good way to practice doing long jumps is to then just go back and forth. Once you make it to oh, sorry, once you make it to one side. Go back to the other. That's embarrassing. So once you make it to one side, you can go to the other. And just keep going back and forth to get practice in. So make it to this side. To that side, to this side. Now I'm really mad. All right, those are the two easiest ones. Now we're gonna move on to the harder ones. All right, so this is the third long jump. This one is just about as hard as the other one. Now that I think about it, but you start off on this tree right here, right on the top. Quickest way to get up here if you're running is to jump up here. Hit once, and you're right on top. We're going to that thing right there. Some of you guys may be able to make that without even trying, but other people might have trouble with getting a good hit off the top. So for this, you're not going straight out or straight up. You need to find a nice little arc. So I know some people are gonna try to go straight and kind of throw themselves off like that. So you really need to um, focus on going in a bit of an arc, but not too much. You'll get the feel for it after a while, but eventually you should be able to do it pretty quickly. And this is another good one to just keep practicing. For this one, you probably don't even need to move in real life to get it. It's just um, hitting off the flat top of the tree is a little bit hard. And if you really are having problems with it, you can move your hand to down here and hit off there. And that'll allow you to move more uh, like this. The fourth one is right here. Remember, these are these should all be doable. You're going right there. Just try it normally. See if you get close. It's, a, it's not an easy one. If you're noticing you can't quite get there normally, it's because you need to start flicking. What flicking is, is basically, this is, I can reach the tree from here. I can touch it. Flicking allows me to hit the tree from back here. So I can't right now. You need to angle, if you have a Quest 2 controller, like I do, you need to angle the battery inside the controller to be facing like this, and push really hard out, and then back. Some people just go out, like me, but a lot of people find it easier to go out and back. But point is, like I can touch the tree from here, I can't touch it from here, so we can try to flick. Even from back here, I can still hit the tree. And this is pretty far. I'm not even that close to the tree, and I'm not even flicking that hard. And I can still hit the tree. So try doing that by practicing just like right here, just trying to hit the tree. 
And once you think you've got a good idea of how to do that, try this again. You'll have a much easier time. Hi, how are you? Or, if you have, don't you dare, <laughs> if you have ridiculously long arms, you should be able to, uh, oh, he went away. If you have ridiculously long arms, you might be able to just do it without even, um, without even flicking, like me, because I'm tall. <laughs> All right, the fifth and final. Well, maybe not the final. After you make the jump up here, you can immediately jump to this branch, which is what I like to do pretty often. Whoa, that was weird. And um, this is the hardest of the five so far. All you got to do for it is just angle yourself in the right direction. And for this one, you definitely need a flick. That's why I keep going over. I'm not controlling it too well. But it's good to practice flicking. Because if this... Or if you don't need a flick for that, you probably still need to flick for this one. And if you're really having trouble getting up there, another thing you can try doing is getting a nice wide stance with one foot facing um, there and the other one right under you. You know, put that foot out so you're leaning back a little bit. Hit off, lean forward, and then flick. You'll have a lot easier time. All right. Now this is the bonus one. This is the hardest one I've ever tried. And I kind of figured it out on accident. I don't know if a lot of people try to do this because of how hard it is. But you go from right here to right there. So how I like to get started, start back here. Take one hit, run up, and flick. You need to pretty much master flicking to get that one down. For this jump, you kind of have to combine everything. So for this one, I'm already leaning back. I got my foot back. I'm flicking this arm away from me, and I'm flicking this arm towards where I'm going. Oh. And that is the hardest one I can do consistently. 